hello you guys welcome back to my channel and to another vlog it has been a minute and i guess i have to catch you guys up on some things so let's go ahead and have a seat you can grab a beverage and we'll get into it okay so it's nothing crazy but the last few weeks have just been a little hectic on my end with the end of the school year and something that i haven't shared with you all is that i quit my job <laughs> Uh, so yeah, big transition and it's not necessarily a permanent thing. Um, I just wanted to find a school that was a better fit for me. So I'm still actively looking and even towards the end of the school year, I have been going on interview after interview and doing demo lesson after demo lesson and going on job fairs. And it's just been a lot on top of obviously continuing to teach and carrying out my daily responsibilities at my old job. So that was a lot, but the school year is finally over. I'm so happy. And now I can just focus on finding a new job for the fall, hopefully, and just sorting out my life in that aspect. YouTube definitely was put on the back burner for a bit because it was just a lot, but we're back. We're back and we're better than ever, hopefully. So if you guys have any content ideas, please let me know what you'd like to see from me. Obviously, I'm used to like filming home decor and stuff like that and I know you guys love when I like switch things up in my apartment But honestly, I've been here over two years and I just don't know that I have more decorating to do in this apartment And obviously with this like career transition I don't want to be spending tons of money on like new home decor when what I have is perfectly fine for the moment. So I'm trying to think about what else I can do here, um, what you guys are interested in. Obviously, I'll keep the vlogs coming as much as possible. Hopefully, my summer is like busy enough that it's exciting for you guys and I'm not just like at home all the time. But yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. And today is actually Juneteenth, so I'm going to meet some friends at a park and we're all contributing, bringing a few things. I am on partial beverage duty. I know one of my friends is bringing like non-alcoholic bevs. I am bringing the alcohol <laughs> and I'm also in charge of fruit. So I do have to go to Trader Joe's before I head out to the park. We're going to Carl Schultz Park in, um, on the east side. We're meeting there. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's before I head to the park and pick up the fruit. But I wanted to show you guys what I have for the beverages. The friend group that I'm hanging out with today, we've been bonding over going to this place called Tiki Chick on the Upper West and they have the best pina coladas. So we've been doing that. It's been like a Friday ritual for us. So I figured I would stick with that theme and bring these like pouches, frozen cocktail pouches. So I have the pina colada flavor and also strawberry daiquiri. And basically you just freeze these overnight and then when you're ready to use them, you squeeze them, crush them up and they're ready to enjoy. So I thought these would be perfect for the park, especially because we are literally in a heat wave this week and it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be like 90 degrees. Did I say it's Juneteenth? Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> so all my friends are off of work, which is nice. So we get to actually hang out on a weekday. But anyway, yeah, it's the perfect weather for like a nice frozen cocktail. And I love that these just come in easy to travel with pouches. Hopefully these are a hit. Like I said, I do have to pick up fruit and I'm gonna bring a blanket so that we can sit out on. But otherwise I think that's all I'm packing. I have sunscreen and that's really it.
got home from my picnic a little while ago, but I literally had to sit in front of the AC for a moment just to <laughs> relax because it was blazing outside. But we're feeling good, we're feeling better now. And I got some packages, so I was gonna go ahead and open them and do some organizing because I've just been trying to find ways to like clear up counter space, consolidate items into different packaging. So I think the few things that I got are really gonna be helpful for me. And obviously I'm gonna show you, we're gonna open them up together. But the other exciting thing is I actually just got PR and it's not your typical like beauty PR where they send you makeup and whatever. It is this delicious delivery as they say. And it's from Emmy Ramen. I think I'm saying that right, Emmy Ramen. And it's ramen, but healthy. And if you know me, that is right up my alley. I love me some ramen. Get right to it, get through all the packages, and then we're gonna do some organizing. I'm like way too excited about this right now, but you guys, when I tell you, I seriously don't get PR like that. Any package that I receive that's like gifted to me or sent over is just so nice and I will probably be eating this tonight just to try it out for you guys and also because it's ramen and I can't say no to ramen so it's funny because I'm literally talking about how we're in a heat wave but I'm gonna be eating ramen but now that we're inside it's okay oh my gosh look at this okay there's a tasting menu it comes with spicy red miso creamy chicken and roasted pork tonkatsu. Three different flavors to try. I feel like the pork is usually the way that I order when I'm like at a ramen restaurant. Um, but chicken is what I usually get when I'm making homemade ramen. And when I say homemade ramen, I mean like throwing some boiled water on it. But I don't know what I'm feeling tonight. The best part about these is that they have, this one has 21 grams of protein. They all, all of them have 21 grams of protein, which is insane. How did I get protein in here? Let's see. Okay, so it says it's pumpkin seed protein. I wonder if they're all, yeah, pumpkin seed protein. That is incredible. Only 310 calories per package, so not nearly as much as, you know, your usual ramen packets. And then for sodium, we've got 890 milligrams. Usually ramen is well over a thousand. We're gonna pick a flavor a little later. I'm so excited about this, you guys. I can't wait to try it, but let's put that to the side for now. Now I wanna open these next two packages. Okay. So here's the first one. It is a paper towel holder, but not any paper towel holder. I obviously like already have one. So did I need to buy another one? No, but this one is going to be saving some space because rather than having it on the countertop, this one is like an adhesive and you kind of just stick it underneath your cabinets, you're like shoving, and then you slide the paper towel roll there and it's super easy. So I thought that would be nice. They had a really nice brass gold, similar to the one I already had. And look at this, it's just so low profile, sleek, I just felt like this would be perfect for my kitchen. So I'm excited to install this. I'm not gonna use the adhesive that they provide because it's usually like a 3M adhesive and it does not come off. And so if I move out of here, you know, it would be hard for me to like remove this. And obviously I'm in a rental, so I'm trying to keep things renter friendly. So we will be using command strips. The next one comes in a pack of two and these are, they're advertised as glass milk bottles, but I'm not gonna be using them for milk. I'm not gonna be using them for beverages at all. I am planning on putting my detergents in here because I have like these huge jugs. Like I always just get the big gallon jugs from BJ's and they don't fit on my little like laundry cart. I'll show you guys when I'm putting things away, but they don't fit on my laundry cart, so I ended up just having to like put my laundry detergents and softeners on the floor, and it's just like not ideal. These definitely fit on my laundry cart, and I like that they're glass so you can kind of see what's in it. Maybe I can even like print a label for it and write like detergent, fabric softener, bleach, whatever the case. I don't have bleach, but just to give you an idea. So I bought a pack of two. These are the 64 ounce packs. I initially got the 32 ounce bottles and they came and they were way too small. I didn't think about it too well, so got the 64 ounce. And I like that they come with like four different lids. 
So if you lose one, you always have backups. But um, yeah, let's get to like fixing up our stuff because I have been waiting for these only for like two days, <laughs> but I've been really eager to get these things up and start using them and all that good stuff. So I think I actually want it right, let's see, maybe like here. That way it's close enough to the sink, but somewhat out of the way, or do I want it on this side? Hmm. Let's see, let's see how it's gonna look. Let me do this. Yeah, I feel like that works here. That's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna place the first command hook. We'll do the Velcro. And then you peel this off. That's done, now let's move on to the bottles. So most of you have seen this and know already, but this is what I'm talking about. Here's my fabric softener just on the floor. So I have my detergent right there in the closet, and then this is the cart I'm talking about that I wanted to like store some of that stuff on. So I do have like some laundry products here, but you know, I have like my OxyClean, some like this smaller container of Tide, but I want to be able to fit all of them on here, so I think I might like move some stuff around, put them in the bottles, and then it'll look a lot better. But yeah, that's the plan. So this bottle is 160 ounces, and these each carry 64 ounces, but I've used some of this, so I'm hoping that I'll have just the right amount of space for all of it to fit. We will see. I wish I had like a funnel for this, but sadly I don't. So let's just go for it and pray for the best. perfect but definitely a lot better we've got all of the softener there my smaller detergent and some more things I just have too much stuff honestly but um, I also have like my backups in here like refills of toothpaste and stuff like that so I don't know this is good enough for now maybe I'll get some more glass containers so I can organize the rest of it but I'm okay with this for now all right you guys now it's time for some dinner because I've literally only had cheese crackers and cookies all day <laughs> while eating in the park so I definitely need some protein I decided to go with the roasted pork tonkatsu um, I'm really excited it just sounds so good so I have some water boiling on the stove and I cannot wait Ramen's ready. We're gonna do our first taste test together, obviously. Um, and you can always like add some more things to jazz it up. Like you can put bamboo shoots, scallions, an egg, but I didn't have any of that stuff. So I'm just tasting it as is. I should be doing this with chopsticks, but we're going with what we have. Okay, good. Okay, it's definitely got a different texture um, than traditional ramen, but the flavor is really good. It's got that nice like pork flavor. I can imagine if you like add all the fixins and stuff, it'd be amazing. Hey, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. And like I said, 
21 grams of protein, so you can't go wrong. Okay guys, hello, it is Sunday and one of my friends is getting married today. The wedding is gonna be in New Jersey and it's actually like two hours away by car, three hours by train, so it is quite the trek, but I'm about to head out. Luckily, I'm able to catch a ride with a friend, so that'll be nice. And I ended up just booking a room in their hotel block because the wedding starts at six, the ceremony, and then with the party and everything, it's not gonna be over till midnight. So I just didn't feel super comfortable taking the train home at midnight and it's like a three hour ride. So I just booked a hotel and I'm gonna be there throughout the night. So I figured we'd make an adventure out of it and just have some fun. I'd be vlogging and all that good stuff. So yeah, I have all my stuff ready to go. I'm just waiting for my friend to pick me up. Here's my little overnight bag and then I have my dress and everything waiting for me at the door. So I'm super excited. It's going to be a good time. Of course, tomorrow morning I literally have an interview, but it's going to be like a pre-screen over Zoom. So nothing crazy. I'm just bringing my laptop basically and I'm going to Zoom from the hotel right before I check out. So Hopefully that just helps me not feel so crazy, chaotic, and rushed. I just want to be like calm and zen while I'm having my interview. So we'll see how that goes, but um, I'm looking forward to the weekend and celebrating love, celebrating unity, and all that good stuff. So let's do it. to the hotel it looks so pretty it looks like there's a few weddings happening here too but we're going to the room got my luggage got myself we're gonna check in really quickly we have about a two hour turnaround time before we have to be ready for the shuttle bus that's taking us to the venue so I'm pretty much just gonna like throw on my dress Get ready, and then I think we're doing a little pre-game before at the bar, the hotel bar. So, it'll be fun. Got off the elevator, look at this view. It's so beautiful. All right, let's do a quick little room tour before I throw my stuff everywhere. When you first walk in, you've got the bathroom to the right, standard bathroom, and then you come on over. Got this little like chair situation closet to the right we've got a nice desk which is perfect because obviously i have my interview so this is where i'll be sitting for that king bed that was a must <laughs> it was either do a king bed or two double beds so i figure why not sleep like a king for a night and then over here a lot of dresser space which is great this is like a 75 inch flat screen i think I saw on the website and then not the best view but also not the worst so yeah I love that they have these huge open windows because it just brings in so much natural light and then I've got another window over here too so nice room I'm gonna get settled in and start changing getting my makeup on all that stuff like I said so yeah I guess I'll see you when we're getting ready for the wedding just finished my makeup and I put on my dress. Now I'm adding final touches. I have these earrings. Just realized that they don't have backs to them. All right, I've gotta go figure that out. Oh my God, you guys, thank God I brought a spare pair of earrings just in case I don't wanna wear these. But these go pretty nicely with my dress. It's got like floral detailing. So I think I am gonna wear these and just switch out the backs. I was freaking out for a second there, but we got it under control. All right. And then I'll put my hair down and I think I'm ready. Okay, here's the look there. Uh, let's take this hair out. Okay. Okay, we got some volume going. Love that for us. 
Here is the final look with the face makeup. I feel like this lighting is like pretty terrible. Let me show you on the big mirror. I obviously need to change my shoes, but here's the dress. It's like this green frilly flowy number with the flower details. A little split at the bottom. And then I have my heels over there. Let's see, there they are. And yeah, you saw the earrings, you saw everything else. So let's do it. Thank you. This is so fun. walking mall we're gonna get some breakfast and then we'll be on the road and heading out officially but it's a beautiful day it's not as hot as yesterday so hopefully we get to enjoy a little bit we don't jaywalk in Prince the ducks they will attack for you I, you get attacked i can't help you <laughs> you get attacked i can't help you Body.
there was an alpaca farm in the distance, so we made a quick pit stop. Oh, look! Hi! Hi. Hey, baby. Is Loppy. Oh, there's a baby there. Oh, Holy my God. goodness. I've never seen him. I've never seen one of these guys in person. So cute. Oh. They all have that modern hairstyle that all the kids have. <laughs> 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 this born um, on uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Nice. He's born on Monday. Freshy. Yep. Fresh baby. Born on the 31st. Wow. So small. And the well, big he wasn't are... a whole lot bigger when he came. Chocolate. Oh, and it's chocolate. <laughs> Goldie and Lucy. Ruby is our girl. You're the girls who produce the eggs. Bought some eggs for the road. They're so pretty. Got some blue, brown, green. Hello, hello. I am back from my little mini getaway to New Jersey of all places, but it was actually really beautiful. The venue was at a boathouse, so we were right by the lake. It was super pretty, and as you saw, we also got to explore the Princeton area a bit, so it was really nice. They have like a lot of historical museums over there, and the buildings are stunning. It's like all like these brick foundations um, and just like architecture that you don't see very much anymore. So it was really nice to kind of just explore the area. As you saw, we, we got to see alpacas and llamas and they were so cute. Um, but yeah, I am back and I wanted to tell you guys about my little interview because I completely forgot to film all of that. I mean. I wasn't going to film my interview anyway because that's kind of weird, but I was a little nervous about how it went because I feel like Zoom interviews can be a bit impersonal. Um, and first of all, it's hard to like sell yourself on an interview to begin with, but then when you are like meeting someone online, it just, it just feels a little weird. And my connection was breaking up in the hotel, so it was kind of awkward at times, but anyway, Apparently it went well because on the drive back, I got an email saying that they wanted me to come in right away for a demo lesson. So they literally scheduled me to come in tomorrow morning. So I've got my demo at 8.30 in the morning and I was scrambling by the time I got back to plan a lesson, get materials ready. I had to run to Barnes and Nobles to buy this children's picture book that I needed. So it's been a bit chaotic for the last few hours, but I think I have everything ready, so I'm gonna just try to settle in for the night, relax, I still have to unpack my bag, and then get a good night's rest for tomorrow morning. But yeah, we'll catch up tomorrow and hopefully all goes well. I'm really hopeful that I find something soon because I'm starting to get a bit burnt out by this whole like interview and demo process. You know, I've had to like plan and develop new lessons every time because I'm going in for different positions for different demographics and different age groups so like one of my lessons was for a first grade class and I had one for kindergarten and now pre-k and it's just like it's just a bit of a process so the sooner I get something the better because I do I feel like I'm ready to be done but it's okay we're gonna power through and I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow hey guys I had my demo lesson this morning I just pretty much got back, but I think it went well. Fingers crossed that it works out. I just emailed them my references, so they're gonna be in touch with those people, and then hopefully I'll get some good news, but I'm feeling positive. I'm just trying to let whatever happen, happen, let it be. But yeah, I have my <laughs> interview clothes still on, my hair. This is the interview look. I'm gonna get changed out of these clothes and then we'll enjoy the rest of the day. I'm gonna go to the gym later. That'll be my stress relief because this process has just been so anxiety provoking for me. I usually wouldn't be so bold as to leave a job without having something else lined up, but 
I knew it wasn't the right fit. I knew I had to kind of make a leap and just take the next step. So I'm letting it be and I'm sending good vibes into the air and hopefully we get the job. I will of course keep you updated and yeah, I'm excited. Thank you.